There are strange things done in a wild mash tun by the brewers who scorn the old, and sour tales told on bar rails where the best of loggers sold. The strains of yeast long thought deceased fermenting in the lees. I'll take up the charge and quaff it at large, this Breton Myocese. Mark, I've got an interesting one for you. I'm not sure how you're going to feel about it. It's time to get our freak on. Now, freak is a combination of frambois and creek uh, sour ales. Uh, that's raspberry and cherry. And um, this particular one is barrel aged. Now, I should mention that I got this for my birthday not long ago uh, from a couple of very dear friends of mine. Shout out there. And uh, I've been saving this for just the right occasion. Now, the information on this is very, very um, minute. That is not to say uh, that there isn't much. It's just to say it's flipping tiny. So let's give it a read, shall we? No, I'm going to have to write this out. So raspberry and ch cherry sour ale aged in oak barrels. This is a 2018 uh, vintage. Um, it is a 6.9 ABV and the text on the side here, uh, um, probably you can't read that. It says, when we first introduced Freak in 2010, we set out to create a unique blend of Frambois, that's raspberry sour ale, and traditional Lambic Creek, which is a cherry sour ale. Each year, multiple generations of Creek ale patiently age in oak barrels, some dating back 10 years in our cellar. Fresh Colorado raspberries are added to the wild fermented brew just prior to the final blending, creating a subtle sweetness to balance out the tart cherry flavors with an effervescent dry finish. Now, um, if you can, you can see that this is a uh, industrial <laughs> top to it. So uh, without further ado, let's see if we can get this thing open. And we'll start with, they put the little tab thingy on that. That's good. Ooh, came off well. And we'll go ahead and pull that up and give it a crack open. Oh, that's good. We'll get rid of the cheaters. And uh, let's give it a pour. Oh, that is just pretty. Now I know that you've tried Lambex before, you've had many uh, a Lambex, and this one is pouring that same kind of color. See it's beautiful cherry, raspberry, let me give you a little bit of light there, hold it up so you can see about there where it's just this nice ruby color coming through. It is beautiful. Let's give it a smell. Oh, okay. The, the, the raspberries hit a little hard. That cherry is right sitting in the back. It's There's almost a floral scent that's coming along with all that, as if it was the cherry blossoms that are kind of in there too. Obviously, they're not, but but that's kind of what I'm getting. The, uh, the sourness is not... It's present, but it's not really smacking me hard in the nose. Let's give it a taste. Ooh. So this is the first barrel aged sour I've had. And the first thing I can say is that it really mellows that tartness out. It's exceedingly pleasant on the tongue. It isn't that bitiness that I've had from some of the wild ales. And it isn't as overly sweet as the Lambex um, that I've had in the past. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, framboise, and this is the very first creek I've ever had. Um, although I've had some cherry ales in the past that I thought were sour that they didn't tell me they were creeks. So I'm going go in for another two. Um, so it's lingering. And the lingering is hitting me in the top 
of my mouth, the roof of my mouth in the back is, <laughs> there's no taste buds there. It's, it's getting some kind of dry reaction like you would out of a, out of a dry red wine. Now the cherryness is, is coming a little more forward in the nose. I'm going to give that another taste here. Mm. That is very delightful. That barrel aged quality to it is adding a depth that I wasn't expecting and really, really adds to it. There's still that weird thing in the back of uh, the back of the roof of my mouth. I don't know what that's all about. It's a little freaky. Hmm. Yep. That is a very pleasant drinking experience. So that was Freak by Odell's Brewing Company. Um, if you can find the barrel age stuff, I recommend it. Uh, yeah, I really do recommend this. So. Uh, if you are watching this at home and you aren't, Mark, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and uh, click that bell, wherever the heck that thing is, uh, so you can get updates. Mark, I hope you are having a wonderful evening. I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, all the best to you and yours. And until next time, drink good beers. Do you know what the plural of flam framboise is? It framboise, frambois? I have no idea.